Monaco Diamond League 2011. A world class 1500 metres is won by Nixon Chepsaber. A great evening of athletics is coming together. And. Oh. France's top steeplechaser Menahin McKissy and their best middle distance runner Mehdi Bala are involved in what can only be described as. Some kind of drubbing incident. Viewers couldn't believe their eyes. This kind of thing just doesn't happen in athletics. Maybe in football, when Argentina and the Netherlands are involved. But athletics is better known for athletes picking each other up and helping each other over the finish line. McKessie is one of France's most decorated athletes, winning multiple European golds, as well as Olympic and world medals. He is probably the fourth or fifth best steeplechaser of the past 20 years, and this week he announced his retirement. So to celebrate, I'm going to pick up on his lowest moment. Bala finished 9th in the race, while McKessie came in 11th in Monaco. But things had been brewing before then, and the pair had apparently had a long time feud. McKessie was, in 2011, battling it out with Bob Tari as to who should be the top steeplechaser in France. As I understand it, Bala, who were at the time was the Olympic bronze medalist over 1,500 metres, and Tari were both training partners in a rival group to McKissie. Bala said about the incident, I went to comfort him after the race as he looked to be in trouble. But he said, if I don't say hello, I have my reasons, and put his forehead against mine. I don't know what that means, if I don't say hello, I have my reasons. I've never said that to anyone, but I don't know. Maybe it's a sign of aggression? Bala then headbutts his compatriot. What played out was a bit of a poor spectacle, not least because neither really landed any blows, and while they may be great runners, on this evidence I would not suggest either start a second career in boxing. To quote a Reuters story from the time, the pair are separated on track, but the row did not stop there as they exchanged strong words in the media zone after McKessie appeared to slap Bala. I'm going to break you in two, an angry Bala responded. Bala added, when you feel threatened, you do what you there is to do. It's pathetic to see these things like that. People like him don't have a place in the sport, but saying that it is rare to see assholes like him. Strong words. McKessie had a different version of events. He said, I thought it was all a bit of a laugh. I approached him and he gave me a little headbutt after which I responded, it's normal. The French Athletics Federation was predictably unimpressed. A statement read, Following the unspeakable behaviour of Mehdi Bala and Madahine McKissie, the president of the French Athletics Association decided today to hold an emergency disciplinary hearing. After the meeting, they decided both athletes should be suspended for 10 months each, although they were allowed to compete again after 5 months. They were both fined €1,500 each and ordered to perform 50 hours of community service. Jean-Pierre Chaubel, the director of the Monaco meeting, said they would lose any money they had made from appearing at the event. It is very unfortunate for the image of athletics, he told L'Equipe. When you have an event like this, it is not a street fight. We plan to impose sanctions, we will retain their financial bonuses. If McKissie did say anything in apology, I cannot find it on the internet. Bala did offer some words of remorse though. I want to apologise to everyone as we are athletes and should lead by example, but sometimes there are reactions which are out of character. The two were cleared to compete in the 2011 World Championships in Daegu, by which time it appeared they'd patched things up. They performed well, McKessie winning bronze in the steeplechase and Bala finishing ninth in the 1,500 metres. Bala, who was then 33, appears to have retired soon after as there were no more results for him. But McKessie's call of shame does not end there. He attacked the mascot after winning the steeplechase at both the 2010 and 2012 European Championships. He also won gold in 2014, or he would have done, but we were denied the chance to see if he would again attack a mascot, as he was disqualified for ripping his vest off. The now 37 year old said this week, I have stopped because the will is no longer there. I no longer have the desire to train. I felt like this was the right moment to stop. Put simply, if I ran, it would be to become world champion, Olympic champion, to win medals and to break records, achieve those objectives. If you don't have the will, there is no point in continuing. 
So happy retirement, Medellin McKissie, you legend, you were one of a kind, and maybe that was for the best.